Basically, my litmus test is here. When I see uh, these fake weak stakings here, okay, I used a tool. Again, the torque value of 58 inch pounds isn't very heavy. So that's why the stakings are even more important, okay? So that means I should not be able to pull these screws out readily. And there you go, there's one. There's two. Okay, now someone's inevitably going to say, oh, well, hey, that one's held in place. Great, good job. All, all, only one of them has to loosen. Only one of them has to come out, and then you have your leakage, and that's exactly what happened. Now, I just saw here, what, what do we see here? See Loctite? Yeah, Loctite. Now, why didn't it hold? Because I guarantee you, they did not properly degrease those screws uh, and those holes, and the Loctite did not set properly. I guarantee it. Otherwise, you, I should not be able to have done that. Okay. So the question is, how do I fix it? Well, in a perfect world, you know, I'm going to degrease that. Who's got that little hammer that we were using? All right, got it. Okay, so in perfect world, I'm going to degrease all, and also, you can even see here. I don't know if that's if that was maybe coming from under the key, but you can see carbon build up here, right about in the front of that key area. Okay. All right, so I'm going to knock out that screw. Ideally, ideally, put new screws in. Well, no, that, uh, that's, a, that's a must, new, new screws. But ideally, I would like to use a new carrier or a new key, okay? But I'm going to be honest, as weak as those stakings are there, you can okay, use it. We, we're going to be able to get over that, okay? That's not going to be an issue. All right, so I'm just going to clean this area here. I'm not going to put Loctite or anything on those screws. So with, the, with the staking, the Loctite shouldn't be necessary, correct? Again, yeah. If if it's done right, you shouldn't have to use that Loctite on there. And, but if you don't do it right, you can see there's virtually no value in applying it. Is there even any little divots on those? On, on what do you mean? On the screw? You mean the, the little, uh, you talk about here on the edge? Can you tell of a stake on the edge? Well, it, the staking shows up here. And you can see there was virtually no engagement here onto the screw. That's work. I'm not going to do that. Okay. So, get new screws. No, we can compare those. Can you can you stake that by hand without this device? We did. We could, right? We said how? The military. Military way, field staking with a center punch. All right, so I've got my new screws. Yeah, look at the difference. It's the uh, new one on the right, that thicker wall. And once again, you can see how easily that bypassed the staking. Now look at how much of that head of that screw engages the sidewall of the carrier key. The other one was more sunk down and, and everything, and it did, there was not as much engagement there. Right, so imaginary inch pound torque wrench, click, 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 okay. There you go. And you can see now, you can't even almost tell where that thing was staked because it was so poor. Okay, so now we grab the Moax. Okay, Moax is made by Ned Christensen of m-guns.com. He's a 1911 pistol smith builder of some renown. And uh, he also teaches some AR stuff as well and makes different tools and everything. 
So I'm going to take this, I'm going to slide it on here. I'm going to line it up. Basically, you know, he actually has a, a wrench that he gives you and you can use it to line it up. But what I actually want to do is I kind of want to follow or mimic. He's got another little light handy. I want to follow or mimic the Everyone. area. Okay. Too much? No. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> Too much. So, More than right. 200 lumens, it'll blind you inside. <laughs> yeah. We're not clearing carrier keys here. <laughs> right. So I'm just going to kind of tighten those down by finger only. Okay. To get it where I want it to be. Now this tool here is rather ingenious because it takes all the thinking out of it. You simply tighten the screws until they bottom out against the tool. Okay, a little bit different than the other ones. <laughs> Wow. Okay. If, if it feels a little sharp here at the top, tamp it. Nothing to worry about. That is staked. That ain't going nowhere. <laughs>